Hey, I'm Justin from Filmora.io. Time lapses are awesome, but time lapses that move are even better. This is how to do a hyperlapse. I am back at Granville Island today because last time I was here, I saw the Granville Island sign and thought that would make a really good hyperlapse. So I'm going to show you how to do a hyperlapse. When shooting a regular time lapse, the camera is stationary, but in a hyperlapse, the camera is moving. A hyperlapse is another form of time lapse. The settings on my camera will play a huge part in my hyperlapse. If I speed up my shutter speed, I'm going to eliminate more blur. But if I keep it at a slower speed, like 1 over 50, I'm going to have more of a dreamy, blurry look when I string the shots together. I make sure my ISO is minimum, and I'm keeping my aperture at f4. I want one thing in focus because it's a really big subject, so I want to make sure that my aperture is not too shallow. I'm going to start from very far away, line up the subject with one of these points on my screen. So if I'm going to choose the left corner of the rule of thirds box, I'm going to make sure that when I'm walking to the subject, that the subject always lines up on the left side. So now all I have to do is walk step by step towards the subject and make sure that my feet are equally spaced apart every single step. So if you're up for the challenge, I look forward to seeing your hyperlapse. Subscribe to this channel and join the conversation at filmora.io and meet other creators like you.